Hello, everybody. Uh, it's really exciting to be here. I am Timos from WAPO, and uh, we are actually waiting for my presentation. So, yeah. There you go. So, again, I'm Timos from WAPO, and uh, we're changing the way that we connect buildings and people in a meaningful way. Now, before we started working with uh, WAPO, who's running a successful 10 million euro company doing uh, energy uh, engineering and building services. And uh, when we design a building, all engineers get together, we put our heads together, and we, we try to design the perfect building in terms of energy performance. And we usually succeed in terms of design, then it goes a bit south in construction. But then uh, all sort of thing happens just when people come in the building. So uh, operational waste is a, is a huge uh, upset for our perfect designs. So uh, we thought we had a solution in the beginning, and we said data. Let's connect to all the smart devices, get the data, crunch the numbers, and we can tell what's going wrong, and we can fix that. But uh, we were wrong. And uh, along with us, many other companies, we get data. Data is not the only answer. We need data. But what we do is we get information in a singular point and then point it to a singular person who is usually the energy manager and the result is that we overflow them with information and these guys are like frustrated and they are not very, very efficient. Now this needs to change and now is the time to change that. So I'm really proud to introduce to you uh, Wappabot. Now Wappabot is a chatbot and he lives inside your corporate social network so he lives inside everywhere basically. So Wappabot is, uh, uses conversational AI, so he's quite smart, and he can learn from sensors, and he can learn from people. So he can adapt the behavior, he can lead to intelligent decisions, and he can move things forward. So moving on to a real-life example of our customers that we have in Greece, MediaMark, uh, we add a lot of value to top-level management, like Dimitris. Uh, he's an asset manager, and he wants to know stuff. Before he goes to a board meeting, he can ask the question in a conversational manner, and he can get his results. Or Sandy, who's a technical manager, and she's localized before she gets into a building. She can uh, get some information about the lighting schedules and fix the problems on the spot. But we, we like to think that we go one step ahead in energy management. So we address the whole social ecosystem. So the 99% of people sitting beside a desk or being connected to the network in a, in a social network. So this is an example where we had a building and we incentivized people to forget about the elevator for a little while and then take the stairs. And they really did. It was a competition. We gave out rewards. And people were really, really, really hot about it. And we had 34% reduction in energy just by running this competition for two weeks. So uh, we believe a lot in this community engagement. The value we bring to our customers is big. We can go up to 20% in energy savings, but we see huge amounts of increased productivity. Happy employees, engaged employees for the first time because something very complex becomes something very simple and something they can all understand. Now, we're, we're in a big market, so it's around a six billion market if you look at uh, energy management systems. But what we feel is really, really exciting is... Uh, uh, the chatbot revolution, and this is something that uh, is really going to change and is changing the way we interact with information today. So uh, we think it's a, a revolution, and we're part of that revolution. We really believe in it, and it's affecting the lives of a lot of people. So only today we can find 400 million users of corporate social networks, and guess what? They all operate and live in buildings, and they work in buildings. So uh, we think we can reach them. We think they can be potential WAPO users. So that's why we're going to a market with a with a free model, which is quite strong actually, and uh, it's a new way of talking to your building. Management requests, uh, maintenance requests, comfort levels, uploading pictures, you can all do that in a conversational manner. And then for the site manager, it's a new way of uh, workflow automation and stuff that he, they didn't have so far. So from there, we can move on to selecting medium and large uh, organizations with sustainability mandates uh, who are more advanced, and we can turn them into our paying customers. Uh, we now have already 50 buildings under management, and we're turning that into the new service of WAPO, reaching users with, the, with our chatbot. We have interest for two pilots in the Netherlands, and we're building the free version to launch in early 2017. That's why we're fundraising for 500K. We're an amazing team. Uh, we bring together expertise in business and uh, finance. Myself and my brother, we have a team of great uh, software engineers with expertise in AI and uh, data analytics and IoT, so we try to bring together three worlds, business, technology, and also the building, which is quite important to know. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much 
for your time today. Uh, come talk to us, come talk to WAPO, uh, because it's live on our mobile devices, and you'll find out Smart Talk for Buildings. Thank you very much.